I'm John Oxford. I'm a professor of virology at the Queen Mary School of Medicine in London. Well, 80% of upper respiratory tract infections are caused by viruses. A huge plethora of from five different families. Viruses are not uh, inhibited or obstructed in any way by antibiotics. So if you use antibiotics to try and cure uh, upper respiratory tract infections, you are wasting your time and you are wasting the antibiotic. Well, it's a question of, if one discusses treatment of uh, upper respiratory tract infections or sore throat particularly, um, one is certainly not talking about the usefulness of antibiotics because they're not useful. Uh, there are over-the-counter um, compounds, over-the-counter lozenges, um, which have been shown in clinical trials around the world to be pretty effective. And I think the Neurofen um, sort of molecule, it, it gives relief um, from the sore throat and normally in any case of course no antibiotic is going to give relief from uh, a sore throat caused by a virus. So with that sort of molecule, that sort of lozenge, uh, you will actually get quick relief, pretty fast relief. The best place to go for advice I think about these sore throats, these upper respiratory trap things, um, is to the chemist shop. I mean, they're not life-threatening. You know, we're not talking here about kidney infections, you know, intestinal infections, infected wounds or anything like that. We're talking about pretty superficial infections of a superficial organ in the upper respiratory tract by a load of viruses. So you don't need to go to the most famous doctor in the whole of the land to get advice on that. You go to the local pharmacist, whether you are in London or whether you're here in Southeast Asia. If, if Fleming, if Alexander Fleming, the discoverer of penicillin and the team at Oxford University who developed it, if they were here now, you, you could imagine them turning in their graves. Their wonderful discovery of penicillin and the molecules following it has been dissipated, totally dissipated. We should not be where we are now and certainly should not be where we seem to be going. That is, those wonderful, that wonderful discovery has just been thrown away by the wanton use of these powerful drugs against infections that are nothing to do with bacteria and all to do with viruses. So I think he would be most dissatisfied, to put it mildly. In fact, only a couple of years after the, drug, the penicillin molecule was shown to be so effective to save people with deep-seated kidney infections, for example, deep-seated infections that would kill them, Soon after that, he, Fleming himself said that if the, ever these drugs, this penicillin, became available so that people could buy it themselves, then that will be the beginning of the end. He, met, he, more, he exactly, more or less in those words, sent out a warning in 1945 that these are so precious, these drugs are so precious, they must be harboured and looked after by the communities around the world. And they're not being at the moment.